Boys, how's it going? Welcome everybody back to the second player review. So today we've actually got quite a few videos out. We've got a 50 player picks uh, video out. We've got an Ericsson objectives guide. We have got a Forgan Hazard uh, player review out, which we actually did manage to pack from one of those player picks. And now we have gone here and we have gone and picked up Zakaria for what, 225,000 coins. And he looks absolutely incredible. The thing is though, the reason he is so cheap is because he is from Switzerland. Now I actually haven't seen, but if we have a look at Switzerland's group, I believe it's quite challenging it's not like you know insanely challenging but i'm pretty sure it'll be tough of them to make it out so i've got wales um italy and turkey so italy and turkey are playing right now they both look solid so i feel like italy and turkey will either be first or second and then wales or switzerland will be third or fourth obviously four of the six uh, third place teams in the six groups do go through so if switzerland do go ahead and get third place they could advance but they need to pick up three wins he needs to pick up three wins for a plus two upgrade so if he gets one in say the uh group stage he then has to go ahead and well switzerland i say he switzerland has to go ahead and win not only the round of 32 but also a round of uh, 16 so I'm not I'm not gonna lie boys it's looking very unlikely this card will get an upgrade but if he does happy days and he has only 225,000 coins now as you guys know from my reviews usually we play division rivals and foot champs sadly in Oceana servers on being in New Zealand the disadvantage is currently 8 30 in the morning and once my skill rating is 2.1k right now I cannot find a division rivals match I use search for hours or sometimes like 50 minutes can't find a match so today we are going to be doing this review against a mate of mine who is gold 2 um honestly boys I'm a gold one slash elite player, right? And or elite free player, I should say. And I mean, whenever I face this dude, although he finishes gold two, I just can't beat him. I can't. But I say I can't beat him. Every single game is very close. So I'm looking forward to this. But boys, coming in a three star, three star. He's six three with medium, medium work rates. 91 pace. He gets a plus five, so he goes to 96 pace. Uh, 94 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. His passing is okay. Not great for a CDM. His dribbling, once again, is okay. He's got some poor balance, but that's nothing an engine can't fix. Going to 85 balance and 85 agility. Um, also, uh, as well, he gets a plus 10 dribbling boost, so he's got 98 dribbling, 91 ball control. His defending is phenomenal with 90 interceptions he's got really good reactions of 95 as well which is important 95 strength 97 aggression going into challenges this man will be absolutely phenomenal now like i said we've gone for an engine we want the pace boost we want the passing boost and we want the dribbling boost simple made my decision very easily now this is a team we are playing him in as for in game we're actually going to be trying out the year as a center mid we're literally going to play this in game as this lines up and it's a different lineup but obviously um to get him on full chem i have to surround him with icons now for the cut some tactics we have for uh, attacking what we're going to do we're just going to have him on balanced attack and cover center and for defensive we are going to have him on the exact same except we're going to have him on cover center and we're going to have him on stay back while attacking without further ado boys is he worth for 225,000 coins let's get into the review go boys as i said i am facing a mate because i literally usually like i said we do rivals and champs reviews but in new zealand i can't play champs right now because i'm actually not yet qualified i'm saving that for tonight's stream and rivals is impossible so we got it we got to do what we can and obviously it's 3-1 against me the last match i won 4-1 the match he won against me was like 4-3 and i think my other two wins were both by one goal so it's a relatively even match now his team he is in love he's got a love relationship with yulmaz because he's a bit of a little fan so he's got a love relationship with team of the season yulmaz and the new yazichi i'm pretty sure it is the new um path to glory card so pretty sure he's running them he's got a very unique team it's a very solid team big test here let's see how zagaria does as a cdm honestly as well i could it's, it's between him and vera at cdm and the other one will be a center mid and i can't lie i feel like vera as a center mid might not be it um and once again i feel like zagaria as a center mid might not be it and that is a problem i can't lie the problem with the two um is they're both like if you have got zagaria and another really really big unit that is a CDM it will be tough to decide who goes where and I feel like Zakaria can play a sentiment speaking of him he doesn't feel too bad like he hasn't got the best balance and obviously he's a very tall bloke he's six foot three isn't he so Mbappe can't quite get that he's six foot three he's a tall bloke he, he's quite clunky he's got like 75 balance or something like that so I feel like as a center mid he won't be as responsive as you want him to be and I feel like if you want to get the best out of him and he gets back to that what I'm saying boys the best out of him, I completely bottled that. If you want to get the best out of him, you really want to be using him as a defensive CDM. You do not want to be using him as an attacking player at all, in my opinion. He, he hasn't got the facilities for that. Speaking of Zakaria here, well, let's go out to Hullet. His, his passing feels really, really good, especially with that engine boost. On Jordi Alba. Hullet. 
football. Beautiful football, and it's actually Zakaria as well. I was not expecting it to be Zakaria, and it actually was. He's actually pushed up. We are currently attacking, so he's on balanced right now. Go on. I mean, I was not expecting that. As a defensive CDM to score on your debut, beautiful positioning, and I'm surprised he actually ran up that far. That's what custom tactics can do, just having him on balanced. But I'm actually surprised, because he's only got medium, medium work rates, and he is everywhere right now. He feels like... He's got high, high work rates. Like, what a goal. You're not expecting to score on your debut as a CDM, are you? At all. Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. Obviously, it wasn't the most convincing finish. Obviously, I, I, I just tapped it, and it was a lot of power. Zakaria, can Mbappe get to it? He can't quite. That was close to another assist. But, you, like, it wasn't a very convincing shot, but either way, he's done very well to actually get himself in that position. Zakaria with a nice footwork there. Go on, Vera sent him. Zakaria, back to Vera. We have to take our time. He's moved his keeper. I can't lie. Toby's actually he's actually throwing me off. He moved his keeper. I, I scuffed the shot anyways, but as soon as he moved the keeper, I tried moving it back, which probably had an effect on the shot. Smart. Fair play, mate. Fair play. Once again, he's robbed of an assist. I feel like we're, we, we're going to... Oh, what a tackle. Love that. And he wins it back. You know, the follow-up with him as well. You know how much times... How much EA stuff Vera is right? Like, you win the ball, and then it just goes straight back to them. That's just like, you know, shit EA coding and all that. With him, it's much, it's going to happen much less because he's got the strength and he's got the aggression to back it up. If he wins it and your opponent tries to tackle it back, he is very strong. He's got insane aggression. So with Zakaria, like he, he's a perfect defensive player. Boy, so we have been all over my opponent here. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to change formations. I can't lie, I just don't get along with this formation. We're going to stay attacking, and what we're going to do, we're going to go for a 4 triple 2 and as I said, we're going to pair him up with a smaller player. So, I feel like we're going to have Zakaria, we're going to have, we're going to bag Hullet off, we're going to put him, we're going to put Bruno, Team of Year Bruno on, and we're going to bring Dembele on up here, and we're going to do it like this. Happy days, boys. This is what we're going to try in the second half. Um, now, as for the instructions, we have to update because it's a new formation. We're just going to have him on balanced and cover center and the same. With, we'll have Bruno on get forward. So we do have Zakaria as a more stay back type of CDM. But a very convincing half from him. He's obviously he's got the tackle through and he has got the goal that, is putting, that, that sees us uh, with the lead right now. He's not put a foot wrong at all yet. Zakaria drops back for that. That's huge. Now some cheese as well. You know when you make a tackle and literally they just both stand there like nothing's happened. Zakaria's dropped back there for us, which is huge. Oh, is that a penalty? It's a penalty. Fucking hell, this is like a foot champs match, boys. Right, so Zakaria's actually going on it. No way we're putting him on it. Um, You know when you always just want to chip your mate? Like, and you just have bragging rights forever? I have for bragging rights here, boys. Fuck you. Now, I don't know what it is. You know, like, me playing a champs match, I'm kind of chill, but as soon as it's against a mate of yours, you you, you, you got to go full sweet, you know. We take that, boys. Really, really well. We're trying to build up here. We love that. Bruno Fernandes making it 2-0. We, we want to hold off. We're probably going to go defensive and try our, you know, be as defensive as we can with Zakaria here. Zakaria, we're going to drop back for it. Let's just see his tracking, right? Boom. That's the freaking aggression, dude. Going into challenges, the aggression this dude has is absolutely wild. Like, was it 95 strength, 97 aggression? He's absolutely ridiculous, mate. Boys, overall, I thought this was a really good card. His pace was exceptional, especially with the engine going to 96. And obviously, that shooting. His finishing isn't great. His positioning's not great. But that 93 shot power is all we needed um, for that first goal. And he literally got that goal to put us up 1-0 before half time. Now, his passing, his 84 passing stats are light. It genuinely feels like it's 90. He goes to, obviously, 86 crossing, which didn't have much. His plus 5 vision boost is good. Plus 5 short passing. Plus 5 long passing. Like, he's got the 98 short passing and 90 long passing. The only thing making this pass stat so low is that really poor curve disregarding the 72 curve he's more got like an 88 89 passing so do not be put off by that um now for dribbling he was actually surprisingly good on the ball now the 75 balance him being six foot three with 75 balance i believe he's got a high and average body type yes he's not going to turn great on the ball and that's why i said i feel like you got to use him as a more defensive player but that plus 10 balance boost was crucial and as for the 91 ball control the 98 composure with an engine he's phenomenal defensively and physically you just cannot ask for much 
more. So boys, overall this card was genuinely basically perfect, and the fact he's only 220k is because obviously he's not going to most likely, most likely anyway, he's not going to get much upgrades. Now, for the performance rating out of 10, he's going to get a 9.9, .9, very close to a 10. Maybe there's a few instances where he wasn't the most smoothest on the ball, but I mean, that's what you're expecting, 9.9. .9. And as for value rating, I'm going to give him a 9.5, giving him an average rating of 9.7 out of 10. This card was really, really good, and I cannot vouch for him enough. He's a huge tick from me. And like I said, the only reason he's so cheap is because no one else is literally... Um, you know, no, no one else is expecting Switzerland to go through, therefore he's not upgradable, and I think people just overlook that, he is an absolutely phenomenal CDM, probably say maybe the fourth best Bundesliga CDM, but maybe the third best actually. I'd probably say uh, Goretzka, team of season one, team of a season Kimmich, slash team of year Kimmich, team probably three, I'd put Zakaria. Absolutely phenomenal price, and it's a tick from me. Hope you guys did enjoy, if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and until next time boys, I'll see you later. Peace out guys.